so contribution for 2010 we know the sales value 24 lakhs so we need to apply the pv ratio because everywhere we need to apply the pv ratio 20% 4 lakh 80000 is a contribution required sales uh, the formula total fixed cost uh, okay plus desired profit divided by pv ratio everywhere we are applying a pv ratio the fixed cost value we know 25000 the contribution per unit we calculated with the help of marginal cost statement hello everyone a warm welcome to one and all i am natesh lecturer in commerce vidyashram first grade college mysuru the temple of excellence we are in the unit 4 section 4 uh fourth semester bba management accounting the chapter name is uh, marginal costing so marginal costing problem uh, in the last session which is related to one year now it is two years uh, related uh, information is given so of course we can find out uh, as a management uh, tool uh, so at the time of comparing two years okay so from the following particular calculate pv ratio first one we need to calculate pv ratio and with the help of the ratio we whatever we are calculating pv ratio with the help of the ratio find out the following the first one we will find out fixed cost huh? and the contribution for both the period at the break even point okay so which is applicable for only for the sales okay which is not applicable for the units and the margin of safety for two years we will find out uh, using a different formula and the profit uh, Uh, when sales are twenty two lakhs, when the sales value you know twenty two lakhs, you need to find out the profit. So there is any information is given. The sales required to earn. Ah, uh, uh, there is one more question. Sales required to earn. When the profit, uh, if you are expecting a four lakh, what is the sales is required? Now there are two, uh, year sales profit. Two years is given. Two thousand ten is the previous year and two thousand eleven is the current year. The two year sales. Okay, and the two years profit also given. the formula for pv ratio increasing in the profit uh, uh, pv ratio formula increasing in the profit divided by increasing in the sales obviously we can find out there is a increase sales of uh, 4 lakhs are increase here or uh, 80000 are increase profit so uh, we will calculate separately for finding the increasing value so 2011 uh, we know uh, 28 lakh sales uh, 2010 24 lakhs if you try to subtract 4 lakhs uh, which is the increasing in sales Okay, now moving to find out increasing profit. How 2011 uh, profit uh, two lakh sixty thousand uh, minus one lakh eighty thousand. If you subtract the difference, we are getting eighty thousand, which is an increasing in the profit. Easily we can apply the formula after getting. So in the numerator, increasing profit value eighty thousand. Denominator increasing in sales four lakhs. The parts into hundred. If you do twenty percent, we are getting. The first question: Calculate the fixed cost. Calculate the fixed cost. the fixed cost how you are calculating the say based on the sales we will find out the contribution on sales so uh, in the vertical also two columns so which is uh, required for 2010 and 2011 and horizontal also 2010 and 2011 because separate calculations okay so at the time of 2010 the sales is a 24 lakhs so pv ratio we know 20% if you multiply so we are getting 4 lakh 80000 in front of 2010 we are writing in 2011 we are not writing because the calculation is applicable for 2010 now moving to 2011 uh, the sales value 2 lakh 80000 is given even the pv ratio everywhere we need to apply the pv ratio so uh, 20% means in 2011 uh, column we are writing a uh, 5 lakh 60000 okay now from this we need to subtract the respected profit which is applicable for the year and the profit is given uh, for bo both the year okay and 2010 profit 1 lakh 80 and 2011 sales uh, profit is 2 lakh 60000 if you subtract the fixed cost we are getting same okay so once we get the fixed cost next moving to the contribution the question is uh, find out the contribution for both year so directly we can say which is also contribution directly but calculation separate calculation so contribution for 2010 we know the sales value 24 lakhs so we need to apply the pv ratio because everywhere we need to apply the pv ratio 20% 4 lakh like 80000 is a contribution so 2011 the sales value 2 lakh 28 lakhs into 20% pv ratio so 5 lakh 60000 both both year contribution we calculated so moving to break even sales uh, using a, a different formula the break even sales very simple formula fixed cost divided by pv ratio everywhere we are applying a pv ratio uh, which is clearly specified in the question so total fixed cost 
because we got uh, 3 lakh into 100 divided by 20 percent so 15 lakhs is a break even sales now moving to the margin of safety okay margin of safety the formula pv ratio uh, profit divided by pv ratio profit we know in 2010 uh, okay the profit is uh, 2 lakh 60 thousand so if you try to apply the pv ratio directly how we are calculating so we are depending a pv ratio here so obviously we need to calculate the pv ratio whatever we calculated in the okay so the contribution and the contribution PV, uh, uh, break even sales uh, pv ratio we calculated already 20 percent okay so the same thing the profit for 2010 2 lakh 60 thousand in 200 pv ratio if you apply to divide by 20 so the profit for 2010 9 lakhs we are getting okay so once again margin of safety the formula 2010 uh, the formula is very uh, simple Profit divided by PV ratio, profit for 2010, 1,80,000 to 1,80,000 divided by 20 into 100 uh, because PV ratio we are considering. So finally, we are getting 9 lakhs. Okay, again, uh, uh, one more formula to find out BEP uh, in sales, uh, actual sales we know uh, in 2010, uh, 24 lakhs, uh, the BEP sales we got uh, 9 lakhs. If you try to subtract the difference, what we are getting here, 15 lakhs, uh, we need to subtract the BEP sales. Uh, okay, so finally, the same answer we are getting. The Again, 2011 also, we know the 2011 sales value, profit is given 2,60,000 again we are applying a PV ratio uh, 2,60 into 100 divided by uh, 20 so 13 lakhs we are getting and one more formula the same uh, one more formula actual sales uh, for 2011 28 lakhs uh, the B pin sales uh, 15 lakh if you subtract the 13 lakhs we are getting okay moving forward for calculation uh, calculation of profit when sales are given sales are given 22 lakhs now we need to find out the profit uh. so the contribution of sales uh, first we need to find out so 22 lakhs are given in the question okay now we need to apply the pv ratio uh, 20 percent so 4 lakh 40 thousand we are getting after getting 4 lakh 40 thousand we need to subtract the fixed cost uh, so uh, 3 lakhs if you subtract 1 lakh 40 thousand you are expecting a profit at the uh, the sales value 22 lakh the profit you can expect 1 lakh 40 thousand so moving for calculation of uh, sales when profit is given 4 lakh so what is the sales is required the required sales uh, the formula total fixed cost uh, okay plus desired profit divided by pv ratio everywhere we are applying a pv ratio total fixed cost we know 3 lakh uh, uh, expect uh, required profit uh, 4 lakhs uh, plus uh, divided by PV ratio 20 into 100 uh, so 35 lakhs we are getting okay uh, moving for the break even chart here under break even chart we call it as a CP okay cost value right profit cost value profit so there is a relationship when you are uh, seeing the graph or referring a graph uh, which is a uh, clear giving a clear picture or visuality will be there here so the, which is nothing but the graphical method uh, uh, the graphical approach for single product uh, the second way to find out the break even is to use graphical method so because uh, with the help of graph only so we are able to understand much better so the graphical method uh, is based on the break even chart uh, so graphically represent the cost value profit the cost value profit so everything which is related to cost uh, profit value okay so relationship uh, and the break even point it is a attempt to uh, help the management their understanding of uh, this relationship and so enable to decide the optimum level of output so that they can decide what what changes they can do how much i can expect profit so that's what so there is one problem to understand much better the selling price is given 60000 per unit a uh, variable cost is given 40 per unit uh, and the fixed cost per month is given 20 25,000 okay so next additional information uh, forecast sales is 1800 unit so if you want to find a fixed cost per unit so 25,000 divided by 1800 so easily we can find out the per cost value and required to prepare a break-even chart using the above data whatever the above data is given so with the help of data we are plotting the data so moving uh, first we need to calculate the contribution is very important and uh, even the fixed cost information is given so for that reason marginal cost statement we are preparing uh, now there is a uh, three column one is particular and uh, uh, cost per unit is given and the total last one is a value or amount value so sale selling price is for 60 is given okay from the sales uh, 
if you multiply the sales value 60 into 1800 1 lakh 8000 we are getting and uh, next one less variable cost is given 40 rupees 40 into 1800 we are getting 72000 as a value basis and the contribution also easily we can for 60 minus 40 20 rupees you are getting 20 into 1800 we are getting 36000 so from the 30 uh, 36000 we need to subtract the fixed cost whatever it is given in the question so 25000 if you subtract 11000 which is nothing but the profit positive we are expecting so whatever the data we are getting so same thing we are plotting into the graph okay so now sales value uh, variable cost value contribution fixed cost and profit okay now variable cost plus fixed cost which is nothing but total cost okay total cost we are getting 97000 okay so moving forward so uh, with the help of information uh, we can find out uh, what is the uh, break even unit is given so break even unit to fixed cost divided by contribution per unit the fixed cost value we know 25000 the contribution uh, per unit we calculated with the help of marginal cost statement so 20 so 1250 uh, units we are producing which is nothing but the break even unit now with the help of uh, break even unit so next immediately we can calculate for the break even sales break even sales the same formula fixed cost divided by contribution per unit into selling price okay if you multiply with the selling price so obviously we can get see the fixed cost 25000 uh, contribution per unit 20 and selling price which is given in the question 60 so 75000 we are getting the sales value we got 75000 so again uh, we can apply one more formula using a break even uh, pv ratio okay so first uh, fixed cost divided by pv ratio is there so immediately we need to calculate the pv ratio how much you are getting so pv ratio we know the formula contribution per unit divided by selling price per unit into 100 the contribution per unit to 20 okay divided by selling price uh, uh, 60 if you multiply pv ratio always there in the percentage so we need to uh, we will get 33.33 percent okay and one more uh, one more formula also suitable for to find out the pv ratio and the fixed cost divided by bep in sales uh, fixed fixed cost we know uh, there is 25000 bep sales we calculated 75000 into 100 that is also giving same answer okay uh, moving otherwise uh, there is one more formula to find out the break even sales uh, nothing break even unit uh, uh, break even point in unit into selling price this is also giving a same answer here yeah? and uh, so once we get the pv ratio immediately we can apply this formula also fixed cost we know 25000 pv ratio we are getting 33.333 percent into 100 uh, so same answer 75000 we are getting uh, moving forward for a graph uh, whatever the data so with the help of uh, marginal cost statement uh, we got uh, sales value sales value we are getting a uh, uh, 1 lakh uh, 8000 okay 1 lakh 8000 and the variable cost 72000 variable cost value 72000 fixed cost value fixed cost value which is there in the question 25000 so uh, fixed cost total cost how we are finding fixed cost plus variable cost okay fixed cost variable cost 25k plus 72k which is nothing but 97000 97000 we are getting so the sales value also given uh, even the fixed value fixed cost value also given now first first and foremost we need to find out the break even point okay now we know the break even unit so the break even unit we calculate a break even in units units uh, 1250 units we produce okay the sales value break even sales uh, uh, break even in sales in sales 75000 75000 we are getting okay so the same thing so uh, x axis represented unit y axis represented value or cost okay so the now x axis when you are referring for the unit so we need to mark for 1250 1250 so we need to extend uh, till where the uh, break even sales is 75000 you are getting so the dotted line which is uh, uh, where it is intersecting this particular point is called for break even point so once again 1250 so we uh, we mark here okay so we are uh, dotted line we have extended till where 75000 break even sales value so this particular uh, dotted line will be intersecting one specific uh, look, uh, 
point so which point is called for break even point so immediately with the help of data whatever we calculated from the cost of a uh, marginal cost statement so we know the fixed cost to 25000 so we are referring the y axis for value so 25000 we a straight line so which is called for fixed cost okay and the variable cost uh, which is starting from year only which is starting from here uh, we know the variable cost we are getting 72000 so the line uh, which is going from the origin so we need to extend one straight line here okay so the specific area uh, the sales value the total fixed cost so from where fixed uh, fixed cost line is extended from this specific point uh, so we need to intersect the break even point so this specific point line okay direct line uh, which is a total okay cost the total cost line so which is starting from the fixed cost origin point okay so we need to extend so again from the uh, origin so uh, intersected point of break even point when you extended line uh, this line is called for sales revenue okay so this fixed cost and uh, x axis origin so there is a difference so we call it as a margin of safety okay now there is a uh, here this specific area we call it as a profit and this specific area we call it as a loss okay so i hope you clear this graph keep on watch for next section thank you